Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to run Warhammer 40,000 K Armageddon with including all DLCs. This is a Galaxy S22 Ultra running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and the Andrano 730. So once you've downloaded the package in the description below, go ahead and enter my files and your download folder. You will see package 21. Let's go ahead and extract this. Right, once this is done, we'd open up package 21 and we'd go into emulator. We're actually using the Exegear 7.1 Fix 39 for this with the Virgil overlay installed. So we're gonna hit install, hit open and allow. Make sure this is filled. Then we're gonna this actually just created a folder for us to place the OBB. So tap anywhere on the screen. I'm gonna hold on to the main OBB and select move home internal storage into Android OBB and then we're coming into Ludashi benchmark here yeah. and move here. Right when that is done just back out of my files and let's add this to home right so we're gonna open this up now so let's give it some time it's going to unpack that image we just moved Right, you should get a prompt statement to appear on top. Make sure that you check that Exegeludashi is ticked on. Okay, and this is necessary for the overlay, VGL overlay to work properly. So you're gonna just press back, and here's the app. So then, now most of the menus in Chinese, so we would work from what we know from previous versions. So you'd hit here the menu, head down to manage containers, and then you'd press the plus to add a container. Open up the menu for this new container creator and settings. You set this to hardware. Screen size, you'd use eight by 600, uh, 32-bit resolution. Controls, you could use the CP10 and language obviously English so that's it we go straight back to the front screen as you can see here this menu is scrollable so that all the settings there is necessary but we won't get to that right now so we're gonna actually launch the TFM right with our TFM created from container one, we'll tap on that. Tap anywhere on the screen. I'm just gonna cancel this. Right, first thing what we're gonna do is head over to the start menu. And under program tweak or prog tweak for short, 
we're going to wind config and we'll set this to Windows 7 apply ok then we would go back into the start menu on the wind gel we would select virtual overlay cancel to this and this one is install good so now it's time to set up the game D is your download folder as usual so open up package 21 package 21 again then we go into game and this, all of these are the DLCs and the main game to install which is uh, 106 gig we would start with the game let's okay to this just install so this would usually take some time so we'll just wait for it Okay, good. So it's completed and install. Now it's to install the DLCs, starting from one. Number two. Four. And the last one, number five. Great. So we have that set up. Normally I like to create my shortcut for the game so that it runs faster using the fastest processors on your device so usually I would head over to C choose your games or hammer and we would create this shortcut using the Armageddon game.exe which is the actual game executable so just right click and use create link I'll head over to desktop we could delete this one Right, what I like to do is actually copy and paste from TFM. So I'll actually go right click edit. Give this some space and same for Armageddon desktop. Right, so you can see it's a bit different here. What we're gonna do is from before the wine prefix, we would actually highlight from after the one straight to in front of the eye, copy, and we will actually remove the ENV and paste. Make sure there's a space between the one and the W. And we're going over to between the wine. Now, according to ADA64, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 faster fastest processors actually is number five six and seven number eight is not the fastest but generally wine would use zero as one which means we would only be using four five and six to run the game at high speeds so we're going to copy this line also Paste it here. 
I'm doing a backspace. The seven and just one more space. So as I said before, these are the faster processors and the game would be running at the fastest speed. So just gonna close and save. Close this also. And that's it. Just tap four times on the screen. This is for the keyboard. This is full screen. This one is uh, to hide the side panels, which are those. And this is the help and quit. So we're going to quit and set up Virgil over Overlay to run the game. Good. Sometimes the keyboard would come on like this. All you have to do is press back. I'm going to scroll down a bit. I'm going to highlight set overlay to center and the decrim press. And that's all you need. Just clean it a few times. Hit start and let's launch the game. Right, so we don't need the side panels, so we can actually hide those. Tap any on the screen for click, and this is right click. Good. So try the scenario. So this is actually a turn-based game. Some of you may be familiar with it. So there's a lot of units to control as you can see the maps are quite big and also there's a purchase menu where you can even buy units with so there's infantry walkers could tap anyone on the screen aircraft and so on so y'all could give it a try